Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a first impressions and a review of a mere vibrant spicy tobacco, which is from Paris Corner. So as you've probably seen over the last few weeks, I've had some fragrances from Aroma Concept. So I've been doing reviews of those fragrances. Um, anybody else that's watching who sent me stuff, those reviews will be coming soon. Um, but I just thought I'd get this one out of the way. Um, this one, if it's anything like the previous one, we're gonna be really happy. Um, I'll just get into it. They're not the easiest to open these. So this is like a, a blood red canister with gold writing. It's got the Amir Vibrant Spicy Tobacco and then it's an Eau de Parfum 100ml. On the back again you've got Paris Corner, you've got some details and you've got the hologram and a barcode and in the top you've got Amir. And let's have a look. So yes, that's like a nice reddy colour going along with the the same sort of scarlet colour on the outside. So once again it's like similar to the Byredo bottles and as we saw with the previous one that was a take on a Byredo fragrance so presumably this is going to be the same. So let's give this a smell. So the cap very similar quite a heavy plastic cap You've got the black atomizer, and once again, you've got the frosted red in this case, as opposed to the purple in the last one, with the gold writing, and then you've got a few details on the bottom. So let's give this a spray. Another decent atomizer. Quite like the atomizers on these. Oof. Getting masses of tobacco straight away. So it's like um, it's like tobacco mixed with like um, a spicy orange. That's really nice. Now tobaccos they can be too overpowering, but this doesn't seem to be the case. It's really nice tobacco. There's a slight lever in there. And there's like a creaminess again, so whether that's sandalwood or some cashmere or something, like a, a creamy musk. Gonna really enjoy wearing that in the next few days. So what I'll do, I'll wear it for a few days and then I'll give you some b-roll footage with the note breakdown and then I'll report back giving you a full review with the fragment and everything and my overall thoughts. So I'll see you in a few days. So I've been wearing a Mia Vibrant spicy tobacco for a few days now. It's probably not the best weather as it's been warming up to wear it So I've tried to wear it later on on the evening so that it's a little bit cooler um, At the moment the evenings aren't too hot, so it isn't too bad, but I have give it a good wearing um, We'll go through the fragment so availability aroma concepts website um, you can Get the 100ml EDP for £35 and if you use the code SENT10 you can get 10% discount. Is it linear? Well it does change over time but it always keeps that tobacco note which is prevalent all the way through it. Is it original? Well I found out that it's based on Byredo Tobacco Mandarin and it's probably got a similar sort of bottle style to the Byredo bottles. Projection, two hours plus. 
a really good strong projecting fragrance and longevity 10 to 12 hours again these are really good for performance wise who to wear it definitely say it's more masculine um some women do like tobacco fragrances and if you are one of those women that likes tobacco fragrances then i'd say fill your boots but otherwise i would say it's more of a masculine fragrance and when to wear it i would say colder days autumn winter or even evenings i've managed to wear it during the evenings and it's like late spring at the moment so and it's worked really well for me then and compliments definitely a compliment getting fragrance especially if people like the tobacco sort of fragrances they will absolutely love this on you so my overall thoughts well this starts off with tobacco as you would guess but there's also like a spicy mandarin in there and um, those spices are coriander and there's a little bit of cumin in there not a lot so you ain't got to worry about that it's got a smooth, soft leather feel to it. Once again, it's almost suede-like in the way it smells. A little smoky, but it's never offensive. So once again, it's not an issue, the smokiness of it. I know some people like smoky fragrances anyway, but it has got a little bit of a smokiness to it. In the base, you've got like a, a creamy sandalwood and there's a light oud that's not at all overpowering. In fact, sometimes you'll struggle to smell it. But for those trained noses out there, you will get that oud. So that leather that I was talking about before, that also plays a part in the base with the, the woods that are in there. Uh, but the tobacco is the one that stays throughout and stays the star throughout this absolutely brilliant tobacco fragrance. Is it a hit or miss? Well, this is another big hit for me. I've really enjoyed both of the Amir Vibrant fragrances that I've got. Absolutely great fragrances, great performers, great smelling. So I think it's definitely a massive hit for me. Worth the money, I think for £35, you're going to struggle to get something as good as this. And then with my discount as well, it's even better. So have you tried a mere vibrant spicy tobacco? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know anything that you're thinking fragrance wise, what your scent of the day is, um, what latest Middle Eastern fragrances you've tried. So don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.